Hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Phantom Trigger. It's a... It looked kind of like a hack and slash game, I haven't looked too much into it. All I know is this game was actually developed by a pair of developers that made a game uh, that I played in the past, Divide by Sheep. However, it looks like this game is wildly different, so let's, let's just pop in and see how it goes. I don't know if it's twin stick or what. Today is the first day of the rest of your life. Fair enough. I want some game to just bamboozle me with that right out the bat someday. Morning, honey. What's for breakfast? Can you make co the coffee? And guess what I'm cooking without looking? French toast. No. Swedish pancakes. We had that last week. Come on, I don't always make international dishes. It's a classic American STAN! Well, what? Why even have that? This is so much cooler of an intro. Is this like a, oh, that's like a cursor. Okay. And now we're some dude on a boat and we're here. Okay, so I guess uh, we're Hyper Light Drifter now. Well, so I have like a, a blink dodge that look, I mean, it looks like it can use it. Oh. So I got a blink dodge and like a scarf whip. Looks like a scarf whip. No, it's not a scarf whip. It's uh, some kind of other whip. Hello? Welcome back, outsider. Uh, what do you mean? I'm Toad. This is our camp. You're an outsider. Plenty of you come this way. Walton from the pier, high and mighty. You go out and you never come back. Out? Out there. Through the portal. Why don't they come back? They die. I don't have time for throwaway people. Go talk to the tree. It will decide what to do. Can I, can I like, loot you? You're kind of a dick. It'd be pretty horrible if I could just straight up kill him. Alright, uh, so we've got... It looks like kind of a camp that maybe, maybe eventually gets populated with people. I don't know if that's the tree. Ah, this is probably the tree. Are you a slithering beast? Almighty Griffin, perhaps? Or maybe a cunning raven? No. You're only hot air. Still, enthusiasm is in demand. The rest will come. I grant thee the sword. Obtained cube of ice. That's not a sword. That'd be all. Enjoy your sword. Okay, so we have a sword now and a scarf whip. I'm confused. Outsider or not, everyone needs to eat. Are you going to the other side? I guess. Bring me spices. I'll feed you well. So it looks like this might be kind of a roguelike with a, a town that we like work with. Ooh. Not sharp enough. Do you need another sword? I need more flint. I love the art style. I, I mentioned uh, Hyper Light Drifter and I'm, I'm gonna stick with it. This evokes similar feelings, though honestly, I wanna say uh, maybe it's a little bit closer to Neurovoider. It's hard to, hard to say exactly, but it's absolutely gorgeous. All right. Do you like adventures? Uh, adventurets? I like adventurets. My name's Ant. Oh, adventure ants. My name is Ant. I'm a brave fighter and explorer. If you're also brave, your adventurate, your adventurate awaits beyond this portal. I'll do recon. You can never be prepared enough. I'll meet you on the other side. Well, all right. So we're here now. Now it doesn't look like my, uh, it doesn't look like my weird scarf whip thing works. Okay, so I can teleport through the fire traps. That's easy enough. Doesn't look like there's much of a reason to destroy the ice, though. Interestingly enough, this game is apparently default hard mode, but it's got a co-op mode, too. Okay. So... So I took some damage here. I'll deal. What is this thing? I don't know. Puzzle? Yeah, it's a puzzle. Okay. How do I... Oh, interesting. The whip lets me, uh, like, knock it around and stuff. Alright. That's interesting. And now my screen's all getting, like, mad glitch glitchal. Oh, it's maybe because of this stuff? 
Okay, so we've got kind of computer face people. Oh! I got traps that I can use. Okay. Okay. I'm learning. I apparently got healed here. Okay, so the enemies have fairly clear... Fairly clear, uh, tells, sort of. Is this anything? Okay, so weapons found on the ground. Oh! Okay, so I can whip these crystals down. Okay, good to know. I guess it's color coded, uh, coordinated. Kind of wish I could get my whip thing to to do some damage, but that's that's okay. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure how I healed there. There's there nothing over here. All right. Uh, I'm confused. I like. I swear I, I threw like a weapon thingy, but I guess I didn't. I have also apparently leveled up. Things are very confusing here in Wandertown right now. I'm getting better at it, but I'm not getting like perfectly better. Okay, so, so those like weird purpley rune things are health. I got a checkpoint there, but I think I'm gonna leave it for a second. Okay, so I can level up both the whip and the sword. Understanding reach. I'm gonna leave that alone for a second. I, I don't know which direction to go. I don't know any of the cues. Oh, hi! It's the adventure ant. You look familiar. It's probably nothing. It's a lonely life here. I keep seeing things and hearing voices, mostly my own. You know you're crazy. It's not so bad when the company's good. Ow! Okay, do they friendly fire each other? They might. Ow. Okay, taking some damage here that I probably would like to avoid. Um. Luckily the, uh... Luckily, uh, luckily the enemies are stupid. So, one, two, three. So, green, 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 blue. Alright, doors open and we get some kind of checkpoint here. And other stuff. Hip! Okay. Well, I hit him, sort of. Okay. Kind of hard hitting this guy. He's also kind of explodey. <sighs> Tried to hit him with a potato. Failed at the potato part. Okay. Gonna grab this other guy. I'm really liking the visual style for this. It's... it's sick. Right, let's pick up that health. Thank you very much. I'd like to see, like, uh, more of an upgrade system. There might be one. I just... I don't know. Okay, what do we got? What is this thing? Black pepper. The one you actually need. Did, okay, so I have it now. I don't know what any of this stuff means. Oh, combos. So that's what the circle is. Okay, so... Oh, the uh, the numbers are based on level. So, because we managed to get up to X level, we have the ability to make some kind of freezy circle thing. And so if we can get the, uh, the sword and whatever the red thing is. I don't have the red thing yet. I can just kill this guy, like, super 
effortlessly. Okay, so I feel like uh, whatever that mirror thing was, it's probably worth going back and investigating at this point. Because I don't think it's the end of the level. It's got to be something else. Okay, so it was uh, Sword EXP. Cool. Yeah, I, I don't want to end the level here, because that'd be bad. I'm actually, I'm really liking this game. This is, I I think honestly a lot of why I'm liking it is purely just because the movement feels snappy and the combat feels okay. Ow. Like, I, I feel like, uh... This has got a skill cap that I can get behind. I suck at it. I suck bad. But... Like, I, I like it. Ow. Taking some damage here. Ow. Gonna stay away from that. Grab the health pick up. I wonder if levels persist through death. It's an interesting question. Oh, oh! Those things heal you. To full. Okay, then. Yeah, I like, I like the fact that I've got a whip to just pull enemies in for me, too. I wonder if, uh... Okay, so my my weapons level up based on use. So if I want to level the whip here, I've got to use and overuse it a bunch. I was curious about that. Luckily, it doesn't seem to really have like much of a cooldown or anything, so I can just kind of spam abuse it. And since this guy, uh, since this guy doesn't take damage from it, like, why not? Just gotta make sure I don't take damage, but yeah, I'll farm, like, a little bit of a level. We'll just get one level off this guy. Okay, cause yeah, if I can get it up to, uh, if I can get, oh, my sword up to two. Cause yeah, otherwise we need it up to seven, which is gonna take some time. Okay, learning, sort of. Oh, were the crystal things effectively just EXP buckets? Oh, he's dead. Looks like uh, the whip might gain more EXP on a... Ow. On a, like, per... Per fight basis. Uh-oh. Ha! Ha! The best option I see is surgery. These surgeries have a high success rate. And that... And that's the best choice, Doctor? What's the catch? Stan. You need... You'll need an exceptional surgeon and cutting-edge equipment. So it costs a lot. Yes. It doesn't matter. It does. Would you like to hear the other options? Please. There's an experimental treatment. What are the odds that that'll even work? So far, the test showed promise. Let him finish, Pam. It's more affordable and doesn't require a surgery. I can send you some brochures and test data. This is ridiculous. It's an option. We can handle surgery, Stan. I can't handle surgery. Maybe you'll need to time to talk it over. I'll send you everything on both the surgery and the treatment. Are there any other options? The only other real option is no treatment. Just having us try and make you as comfortable as possible until... How on earth is that an option? Right, uh, okay, um, hmm. I was actually kind of looking forward to fighting all of these guys. Oh well. Yeah, it looks like these guys really can friendly fire each other. Well, that's cool. Yeah, I've also got, like, some kind of frost path and a couple other things. Let's see if I can... Snipe that guy. Unfortunately, it seems like it's not exactly the most consistent, but that that's fine. Okay, what else do we got around here? I feel like sometimes I just 
totally miss with my sword. Could be wrong. I'm gonna just keep slapping these eyeball things. At least for a little while. Yeah, so the whip just straight up levels up faster. Oh, we just murdered him. I did not expect the, uh, the whip would just destroy him outright like that, but that's okay. Yeah, I like this. It, it's like a kind of roguelike ah. Ow. It's like a roguelike version of uh, Hyper Light Drifter, maybe. I mean, obviously that's a bit of a uh, bit of a misstatement because obviously they're wildly different. Uh, it's just the closest thing I can think of. I feel like the controls are maybe a little bit unresponsive sometimes, though. But maybe that's just me. Okay, so we have two buttons here. Both just activate the spikes. Oh, don't you look like a... Oh, okay, so we're going to have to kill this thing if I want to get the, the red, whatever the red is. Or I have to talk with it. Hey, you! Me? Yes, you! Want fancy knuckles? Fresh tested. Uh-huh, why don't you take the knuckles? Don't need them! Got all the way to eat on my own. Killed him on my own. He loves Little Bull. Just take him. Don't worry. This guy doesn't even need him anymore. Gross. Obtained Cube of Flame. It's father. It's mother. Okay, so we have Crazy Fists now. And there's our last one. So I should probably uh, utilize Crazy Fists a little bit more often. Because the crazy fists look like they're, uh, they level fairly fast. So they're kind of close range, do a fair amount of damage. And we want to rank up some of those new combos. Do you got to watch out for the, uh, do you got to watch out for the goopity goops? That said... Oh, do different enemies have, like, weak points, or is it just that the fists have, like, some kind of crazy crit effect to them? I don't know. I'm digging them, though. The fists feel good. I love fisting things. I love the power glove. I don't, I don't actually know what that's from. It's a song that I've listened to repeatedly, but I have no idea where it comes from. Okay, taking some damage. Yeah, there's like a... I really got a take out TV head there. Okay, we, we got a heal. That's good. Wait, can I... If I whip TV head, does it work? I have no idea. Okay, we're good. And, oh, we get a... Uh... We get a fisty XP mirror. Alright, uh, oh, here we go. So, circle, uh... So I have circle of fire now. I wonder if there's... No, it doesn't... Well, maybe? I don't know. It's fine. Oh. Let's go back for a second. I swear there was, like, an alternate path that I missed. Yeah, up here. Okay, Circle of Fire has got, uh, has got some benefits. Now, does it hurt everything within it? It kind of does, it kind of doesn't. I don't, I don't know. One way or another, I'm kind of super injured. Oh, interesting. So, the, the hit, hit, dash... I am super close to death. The yeah. I gotta time this so I don't die. Unfortunately... Unfortunately, uh, it doesn't really seem... 
worth it to... There we go. It doesn't seem worth it to, to nab the uh, the jumping blob, because you actually can't hit the jumping blob while it's in midair. Okay. So now we've got that guy active. Got him sort of free. Haven't had a checkpoint in a while. Sucks. But it's not the end of the world. Okay. Just avoid that. These guys are killable. Okay, and it gives me a little bit of health. Love to find a checkpoint soon. Be it would help. It would help a lot. Oh, hi. Sorry, Greg. I won't be able to participate. My husband's in a hospital. Well, he is my husband. So what? He's my husband. Those ants will have to study themselves. Okay, so this is where we'd, we'd fought, so we've just kind of looped back around. No checkpoints, though. Well, there's a checkpoint. Let's go back around the other way. There we go. Love the environmental fire effect. Works great. Oh, hey! And we get a, uh, we get a whip mirror. So it gets our whip up to level 3. I'm really curious what happens upon death. That's something we'll have to, I guess, discover as we go along. Yeah, nothing on this. Okay. Oh. I see how it works. If I'm holding a direction... If I'm holding a direction, it counts. Uh-oh. I messed up. Oh, that's okay. Because I've got the fire circle to... I've got the fire circle to just keep me going here. Makes life a lot easier. Mostly. Nothing to worry about. Yeah, fire circle. These guys have a decent amount of HP. I wonder if I I can ever like level up my base damage here. We've got an item, so let's go with that. Yeah, so as long as we're, they're within that ring of fire, they just straight up take damage. Okay, so what do we got? Uh, so we have the black pepper and gram masala, the hipster curry. Or original curry. Lines are blurred. Har har. Okay, so we've got this whole area up here. I want to say there's another zone, though. And I've already activated this, so I don't get the effect. I was hoping I could get it to set on fire, but no dice. There we go. Wow. You go fast if you mash that A button. A little bit of time delay. Really effective. I'm just... out. I'm just glad this game does not seem to be the kind to just, like, punish you for button mashing a little bit. Ow. Ow. We got heals. But that's okay. I guess I should probably use the sword more often. Uh... Yeah, I really should probably use the sword more often because we've got a... We've got a 3-2 ability here. That I'd like to use. Alright. The sword's a little bit more reliable, though it doesn't have the, uh... It doesn't have the totally ridiculous, uh... It doesn't have the totally ridiculous, uh, t -t 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 fire circle that I've been using and abusing this entire time. So this probably just loops us back on kind of... No, not where we've already been. Loops us back on A area. Be nice if there was, like, a, a map or something. <laughs> Ow. Well, for a second I was hoping that the enemies were stupid enough to 
Just go through the fire. I was correct. However, I'm stupid enough to go through the fire. Go back. Keep cooking yourself. Oh, he doesn't take fire damage. Something about this feels cheap. I guess the game learned. Well, that's helpful. I wish some of these guys had, like, elemental weaknesses. Like, uh, different, different enemy types would, like, take more or less damage based on what element you're hitting them with. Okay. Hopefully I get something with a little bit more range. The whip has range, but it doesn't have, uh... The whip has range, but it doesn't have damage. If I could just get it to do, like, 10 damage at a time, it'd be pretty nice. Okay, so we have a checkpoint here. And we've got another puzzle here. And some things. Well, I'm gonna backtrack. I don't like backtracking, but, uh, kind of necessary in this case. I'm so glad that we can just zip through. I I liked the uh I liked the like speed dash move from Oh. I I guess this is the only way we could have gone. Cool. Ow. Yeah, the uh speed dash move in Hyperlight Drifter was awesome, but it took so much effort to just time it. This one is just like, yeah, here you go. Red, green, blue. Blue, blue, green, red. Pretty neat. I'm sure if I did this wrong, I'd get uh, attacked. Okay, so if I do this, oh, it gets us a mirror. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to lock myself out of progress. It doesn't look like this is one of those games. Alright, and we've learned a new move, whatever the new move is. Okay, circle, circle. Ooh, ooh. Okay, so now I now I've got kind of a long range move that I can I can use. Oh. Not exactly long range, but I'll take it. Okay. Let's see if I can shoot that guy. It'd be nice if I could get some range on that. That's okay. Let's see. So we've got two little slime dudes kind of desynced. There we go. That's the stuff. And it looks like we've got friends. Oh, right. Because they, like, friendly fired each other. That's actually super handy. Oh. And scary business is incoming, but that's fine. I should probably not be as pushy risky as I am. But I am pushy risky to a fault. There we go. Oh! Oh, I can fire dash through dudes. That's actually rather helpful. Because that means I can use it much more, uh, much more aggressively. Way more aggressively. Just gonna slowly adventure through here. Uh... Looks like there's a bit of a diminishing return. You can't just chain freeze them. You kind of can. But it's not quite the same. Thank you, fire circle and freeze, like, path and whatever. This is, this is a neat game. It, uh, it does a lot of things really well. That did some damage. Okay. I want to hit him with a fire path or something, but doesn't look like that's going to be the case here. Oh. 
There we go. There's something freaky over there. There we go. No, this is a whole bunch of dudes. I was like, are we done? No, we are very much not done. Okay, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna just leave some fire circles behind. For these guys to have to deal with. I'm having the hardest time with this guy. There we go. Okay. Yeah, not dead yet. Dying hard, though. Dying real hard. Uh, do we get a... We do get a checkpoint. Awesome. You'll be okay. You'll see. I'll be here. Uh, I'm sorry if my voice acting for the characters is uh, mildly to wildly unenthusiastic. It feels... It feels like this is one of those games that has like a, an emotional... Uh, an emotional kind of appeal story to like get you or something. I was hoping I could stun him before he goes. Never mind. There we go. In a, some kind of emotional connection in, in spite of itself. And was there a dude up here? I don't know if there was a dude. I might have already killed him. Okay, so we get Flint 1. Nice. I, I get the feeling if I die, I probably just go back to these checkpoint things that I've been finding. Like, that's, that's the assumption. Which actually works out fairly well for me. So that's how we can kind of fit a... Uh, like an upgrade system into this game. You go until you die, and then you come back at a checkpoint. That's why I always uh, go up to full health. After each one. That said, these enemies are starting to get a little, bit, a little punchier. Well, I tried. A little punchier and a little bit faster. Okay. Let's see if I can take him out. There we go. Out. A little bit of damage. That's fine. Let's just stay away. And fortunately, I tend to I tend to flee laterally from these or like uh, along these guys' incoming path, which is never good. I'm gonna remember to actually start uh, using the fire path to my advantage here, as opposed to just an escape mechanism. It doesn't look like I've got much of a, a fist combo here. All right, we're still alive. I'm doing actually rather well. I don't know the guy up ahead. He's never been here before. But neither of you. Okay, good. Yeah, I feel like we're starting to do more damage. But I could be wrong. We're getting, like, more crit things. Okay. Oh. So I have some kind of daggers that I just chuck out. Doesn't look like they do a lot of damage. They're probably good for groups. Oh, this is disconcerting. Oh, gotta touch that because I think we got a boss in our hands. Okay. So how do we fight him? Oh. I don't know. I don't know how we fight this guy. 
Doesn't look like we punch him at him. It, like, I don't think I've done a single point of damage to him. Oh. He's got... Oh. That's how we do it. Too late now, but... This is how we fight this guy. Yeah, so he leaves behind, like, bomb dudes. And we're dead. Well, that's okay. I was kind of expecting this. So if we go restart, what happens? Oh, it just drops me here. Okay. So let's try this, let's try this properly. Yeah, so he's got, like, pink bombs that he, he fires out. Damn it. Okay. There we go. Got him. I don't know which is better, but that's okay. Let's see if I can hit him. There we go. Okay, so those little, like, blade things work rather well. I don't think he had a... he actually had a bomb there. I should maybe use his, um... Uh... He's not putting any more bombs down. Okay, there he is. There we go. There we go. Well, that was actually rather easy once I learned the learned the process. Uh, do we get to leave now? Honey, thank God. What is this green ooze? It's the medicine. How are you feeling? Like a sack of hay with potatoes for legs. The doctors say that's normal. Normal. The medicine is pretty strong. Madison. Stan, you're scaring me. Who's Stan? Who's Stan? Who's Stan? <laughs> well, a win! Yay! I didn't know you were famous. What do you mean? You're the chosen one. Golden Light to save all. Everybody says that. They say you're here to kill the evil. Ironic, isn't it? Oh god damn it, this is Ozzy and Drix. Uh what? How? Oh, you'll see. Now, I need you to do something for Id. What's Id? Id's father, Id's mother. What do you want me to do? Poison the rabbit. Bring him a spice called ricin. It grows while you where you'll go next. Come back when the deed is done. I'm not sure about this. Well, let's go. That'd be all. Let's go back to this guy. Flint. Dear Flint. Give Flint one to Demon. Thanks for the Flint. That's a, uh... That's a Dark Souls reference. I knew you were the Chosen one, uh, Chosen already. Ain't no Toad gonna give... Oh, uh, ain't no Toad gonna open my eyes to this. Can't make Tex-Mex without spices and mechs. Give Black Pepper to the Rabbit. Couldn't do anything without Pepper. Thanks, Chosen. Give Grandma Solid a rabbit. It ain't Tex-Mex. It, it, it's curry, but it's good. Okay, so we don't have anything else to give to the rabbit right now. I'm curious about all of these things. You bait and baitle. You're the one. You're the Chosen One. Uh, yes, I'm exactly that. And so humble. With your gifts, you can save it all. All? Yes. Listen, there are four legendary monsters. You've beaten Beetle, the Withstanding. Who are the rest? Rook, the Restrained. Infant, the Terrible, the Unknown. Want, the Craving. Path will guide you. Takes you there. Unless you stay here. Go now, save us all. See ya, unless I die. You are hilarious, Chosen One. So, we literally are like Ozzy and Drixing it. We are the medicine, we are the green goo. You did it! Beetle is beaten. So you knew, know who that was? Now I do. 
Toad has been yapping about it for hours. Beetle was terrible. Beetle was strong. Outsider is the chosen one. You know Toad. I think the whole camp worships you now. Hey, Outsider. I got your back. Okay, so these guys mostly just exist as lore. What is this? I have no idea. I guess that's just Id's, like, weird portal thing. I don't really understand any of what's going on, but the gameplay is fun. So, I'm gonna go with that. So, I guess with this, this is a great stopping point. So, I'll see you guys in the next episode of Phantom Trigger. Uh, but I guess before that, if you guys like this episode in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like, helps more than you know. And if you want to see more, hit subscribe, because I'm aiming to do a full series. This is really pretty. Uh, and the gameplay is pretty good. Hopefully we get some more, like, interesting combos. Uh, I mean, we've already got a couple of fun things. I hope there's more than just this, though. I mean, I guess if this is just this, that that's not the end of the world either. It might also just be short. That that could be uh that could be part of it. Like this, just might not be a long game, which I am actually 100% down with. But yeah. So I guess with that, back to what I was saying. See you guys next time. Thanks for watching.